Our folks, everyone, just grab your eyes this way for 30 seconds. All right. This is our YouTube channel for those of you that haven't been there. Uh, it's a long time down the track. Converting percentages to fractions and decimals was last lesson and it's up there. Okay, the previous lesson, introduction of percentages, our class. And for DI, keeping track of teams, data input, all of it's explained there. Okay, you can see six people have been to that, three people have been to that. So um, keep working at using this YouTube channel to your advantage. If you are missing or have misplaced the directions on how to get to that, then come and see me and we can work something out. All right, I'll give you another note. But the YouTube channel is easy, therefore, is clicking on this. Uh, find the one you want to watch. <coughs> clicking on it. Bless you, Blake. It's the biggest sneeze I've ever heard. Clicking on that. And away okay, we go. So what we want to go through today is how we... All right, so that's uh, the lesson we've had in the past. So process. All right. those that aren't making use of it, I suggest you start making use of it. Here you see a percentage sign, okay? Uh, what that should say to you, the alarm bells that should ring in your head, is that it's the number divided by 100. So whatever the number is. And imagine this, Alex. That's a 1, that's a 0, that's a 0 of the 100. Okay? So what you'll be left with is this, 20 over 100. Okay? And then you've got to do your times tables in your head or on your calculator and say... What number goes into 20 as well as 100? Okay, well, we know 20 goes into 20 once. So if we divide that by 20, that would give us 1. And if we divide that by 20, that would give us 5. In simplest form, in simplest form, it's 1 over 5. That's more simple than 20 over 100. Okay? So you do the same, 250 over 100, 75 over 100, 50 over 100, and so it goes. Okay? When you get to these... 12 and a half, have you got your good calculator here? Oh, no, you've just got that calculator. So when you get to these, all right, you're using uh, that button we explained the other day, which is, uh, and it's on YouTube, it's under that introduction one, okay? It's that ABC one, all right? So here, you put in 12, then that A, B, C one, then one, then the A, B, C one, and then the number two. Yeah? All right? Uh, when you press equals, all right, it'll have 12, one, half. Okay? And then if you hit the A, B, C button again, it'll give it to you in decimal form. And it'll give it to you in that. Yeah, you've got all that? Yeah. Again, that now becomes 12.5%. And any time you see a number before it with percentage, it is 12 over 100. All right? And that comes from the explanation that happened. Um, no, uh, back up the page, okay? And we did it in the introduction. So 12, sorry, 12.5 12 over 100 is where it should be, okay? Now, it's hard to get that in simplest form. The best thing to do is to make this, or the first thing that you have to do is make that whole number. And if you times that by 2, that'll give you it in a whole number. 12 and a half times 2 is 25. What you do to the top, just as we did over here, we divided by 2, divided by 2, uh, divided by 20, sorry, divided by 20. Got to do the same. Do the same here, times by 2, so this is times by 2, gives us 25 over 200. Is that in its simplest form? No, 25s can go into 25 and 25s can go into 200. So you're always looking, is it in its simplest form or could I make those numbers smaller by putting the same uh, number into both of them, dividing. Yeah. All right, is that okay for you? Yeah. yeah. Pencils down, please. I just want to talk through finding a percentage uh, of a quantity which a lot of you are starting to get up to. Okay, so if I can just have pens and pencils down, please, and eyes this way. Uh, for green, red, and blue, please. Okay, um, so there's a simple uh, school of thought that we need to remember. Uh, of Taylor means in what, in mathematics, what does it mean, what sign of, the word of? 
Uh, no, not quite. So the word of, what does it mean, Cheyenne? Thanks, Cheyenne. Thanks, Cheyenne. Uh, it does mean to times, okay? It means to multiply. So if we know that that means to multiply, okay, and 55%, anything with a percent sign after it, Alex, what does that look like as a fraction, 55%? 55 over 100, excellent. 55 over 100 times by 8. All right, 55 over 100 times by 8. What are the signs that we're pressing on our calculator, please, uh, Ryan? Well, 55 divided by 100 equals... Uh, uh, yeah, you go equals and then you have to do times by... Yeah, cool. So 55 divided by 100... Uh, probably press equals because often some calculators will read it as 55 divided by 100 times 8. So 55 divided 800. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to say 55 divided 100 equals something, which is 0.55. You should be starting to see that the de two decimal places gets moved. So it's 0.55 times by 8. Okay? That on your calculator on your screen shows it to be that. Okay? Which obviously, I hope means that 55% of $8 is $4.40, okay? Um, so anytime you're saying of, you're, hopefully you're saying times, okay? Now, beyond that, it's just worded questions that you need to try and draw out this basic sort of bit of information. You need to find out what percentage it is of uh, and then of the total, all right? Understanding, Monique, the of means to multiply. So pop that in your glossary if need be. But other than that, are there any questions with that? Most people are getting there. No questions? Um, the worded questions will take you some time. And then in the break, we'll have a bit of a break. Uh, at uh, Halfway through the lesson, we'll go through the unitary method. So what we're looking at here is a thing called the unitary method, all right? And the word unitary has the word unit in it. And the word unit uh, is meaning one. We're trying to find one percent. And if we can find one percent of a total, then we can find everything beyond that, all right? And I'll tell you what I mean. Michelle and Bridget own a business. Bridget receives 25 percent of the profits each month. Okay, last month, Bridget received that. All right, so in this question, what we're trying to find out is we're trying to find out what is 1% worth? What is one unit worth? Okay, how can she work out the total profit made by the business last month? Because she only worked, remember, she only gets 25% of the profit. We're trying to find out also what Michelle gets. All right. So the thing we've got to do is we've got to try and find the 1%. And it's not a difficult process, okay? What we're trying to find is 100% of the total money if 25% was 2080, okay? 25% of the amount is 2080. We're all in agreement with that. We're okay with that. That comes from the question. 1% of that amount, therefore, is the total amount divided by the percentage, 2080 divided by 25. That means for every 1% mentioned in this question, it is worth $83.20. All we've done is divide by our total amount divided by the percentage, but they're the same person. There's this is all talking about Bridget, isn't it? Bridget receives 25% of the profit last month. Last month, Bridget received 2080. This has all got to do with Bridget. And what we're doing is we're dividing her total amount earned or received by the percentage to give us, for every 1%, that's worth $83.20. Okay? I can see some nods. From then, what we can say is if Michelle received 40%, we would just times 83.20 by 40. If Michelle received 
80% of the profit, we would just multiply 83.20 by 80. Can you see that once we find 1%, we can find any percent after that? The big deal is just to do this simple uh, calculation. Read the question carefully, stay with the one, get the calculations from that one person, and the critical calculations here is 20, 80, and 25%. Now, if we were to go to a question, let's try and apply this, shall we? So here we go. We've got uh, a question here. Find 100% if 10% is 40 mils. Okay, so this is quite easy. 40 mils is worth 10%. Okay, and if we divide 40 by 10, we get 4. Okay, so for every 1%, that is 4 mils. Every 1%. So 100% must be that times 100, yeah? 4 times 100. All right? Uh, when we go here, 95% is 38 minutes. All right? 38 minutes divided by 95, our percent. All right? What's 38 divided by 95? Someone with a calculator close by? Uh, 0 0.4. 0 0.4. For every 1%, it's 0 0.4 minutes. Okay? What we're trying to find... Is that right? No. Be, no? No, it's not quite right. What is that? The answer. Yeah. 38 divided by 95. Oh, we mean... Yeah. Um, so what we're trying to locate is we are trying to locate, folks, the 1%, and when we find the 1%, we can move on from there. This is a slow, measured approach to answering questions that are more wordy, all right? So once you find the 1%, you can find any percentage after that. It's just a simple division. Uh, one thing we can keep working on, I reckon, as a group of people is to keep looking at our examples, all right? Keep looking at this because this is where everything's going to help you from there. You can apply it to every question that follows, all right? So keep using the examples. 18% of students at school are in year 8. 16% of students are in year 9. If the school has 126 year 8 students, determine the number or how many year 9 students are there. The job we'd have to do here is pull the information together about year 8s. Because they don't tell us how much year 9s there are, how many, but they do tell us 18% and 126. That's the common thread, can you see that? That's the common numbers. That's talking about year 8s. When we do 126 divided by 18, the percent, we get 7 students. For every 1%, there's seven students. If 16% are year nines, then we just multiply our seven students by 16. It'll tell us that there's 112 year nine students. So use this example to then work through the more wordy questions. But the key thing is, is to get the same information together to find 1%. All right? So that's coming. Uh, some of you are starting to approach that. For those that may approach this on the weekend, YouTube it and get it from there. Can I explain that better for anybody? I can come over one to one. Just shuffle your cups and I'll come to you one to one. Okay, so what they do is 55% of $8. It becomes 55 divide 100 times by eight dollars it's taking the information that you've done previously and it's saying any number with a sign after it is 55 divide 100 3 divide 100 3.5 divide 100 20 divide 100 okay so it's divide 100 and of means to times okay so here you'd be doing 55 divide 100 times by eight does that make sense